Welcome to This Is My Architecture. Today I'm joined by Simon from SPB. Hey Simon. Hello, Ramon. Simon, tell us about SPB. SPB is the Swiss Federal Railway Company and its subsidiary SPB Cargo is the main freight company in Switzerland. And that's where we had a, this project here. Okay, so you brought us a nice architecture diagram here. Maybe tell us uh, in the first place, what was the project about? You know, every time a, a freight train is leaving, one person has to walk all around the train for inspection. And for a long train, it can take more than half an hour. And with this project, we wanted to reduce this time. And we do it by putting sensors on the train, putting sensors along the, the track, and with this data we collect there, um, we try to get a good view of the condition of the train before the person actually is going there. Mm -hmm. And then he only can focus on very few critical parts. So the inspection is done within minutes. Okay, very cool. So all of this sensor data is uh, flowing into your system. Maybe can you walk us through all of this? Yes, so producer, Let's take the locomotive. There's a lot of data and this data we want to capture to bring into our um, digital twin. And the producer is sending data in any kind of, of format. So the Lambda is just taking the data and forwards it into Kinesis. On a locomotive, there we get about 3 million samples a day. Wow. But we are actually only interested in a very few part. So we use Kinesis Analytics to reduce it, to filter out just the data we need, and then we forward it into a new Kinesis stream. The target is the DynamoDB. So the, this Lambda is just managing the data in and out of it. So Kinesis stream, the data is caught by the, by the Lambda, and then it's pushed into, in the right format, into the DynamoDB. On the other side, you have consumers, for example, an algorithm. The algorithm is deciding, is this train now in a good condition or not? And this algorithm um, wants to want the data. So we have a, this interface, the API gateway, where it asks for the data, but finally the data is then again through the same lambda pushed to the gateway and then to the consumer. Okay, and so this is all highly automated and it accelerates a process that you were going through many, many times a day, I would assume. Um, so what were the, the top priorities designing the system? So the business had a clear idea what they want to achieve, but we had actually in the project no idea how we get there. So what data we need, what are the algorithms we are going to use. So we, I had to um, design a very flexible architecture. And I knew we, we, we will have a lot of different data sources. So we are, I want to have like a standardized way because the maintenance of the whole system should be low. So for example, let's take here, we have the, the data from the locomotive. We have another data source, sensors along the track. And now we want to get this data in to the digital twin. And what all we have to do is copy paste this stream here. So all what is in this dashed box, we just copy paste and we can do copy paste easily because everything what is here is infrastructure as code. And so we just copy the Lambda, so the infrastructure stream, Kinesis Analytics. Now we only have to modify the Lambda because here the data can come in a completely different way. So the Lambda is getting the data and at the end, it's again pushed into the same Kinesis stream. So here we have all the data normalized, harmonized, and can be used. For example, in this case, it's, the, um, it's a digital twin. 
And even if you, for example, exchange a digital twin, you say you need another concept, we just connect it here to this stream. And yeah, we are very flexible in that way. So it's very easy for you to add multiple of those uh, producer pipelines with different uh, formats of data. Mm -hmm. um, you mentioned Lambda, for example, and I see a few other serverless and fully managed service on the, on the Blackboard here. Why did you choose those types of services uh, in comparison to a more traditional, uh, you know, maybe EC2-based uh, architecture? As mentioned, our, one of our priorities is to have as less operations as possible because we've been a very small team and we wanted to concentrate really on the business logic to bring the data to the business. And we didn't want to manage servers, operating system or anything like that because AWS did this everything for us. And for example, Lambda, the data that is modified or um, transformed, that's very, just a few lines of code. And there is no advantage having like a, a large setup for that. Mm -hmm. So very little maintenance overhead, so to say. Absolutely. Awesome. Thank you for sharing, Simon. You're welcome. Thank you. And thanks for watching. This is my architecture. <laughs>